thought that I'd spend a little bit of time today showing you a couple of different boards I've been using and trying to figure out if Ken should skate and will Ken skate. We got a selection of boards here. This is your standard sort of popsicle stick board, a very standard street pool uh, trick board. Um, and this one here is what they call a surfer. You can see it's much wider in the trucks, much wider in the body and a hell of a lot longer. I think it's 30, it's getting into be 36 inches, but it's huge. It's got like a 10 inch, uh, a 10 inch width, which is really good for people with like my old, uh, my old body. These here are the uh, freestyle decks that I've been skating. The Witter from Decomposed, and of course the MLM from MLM Skates. The Witter is a little different in that it's got some concave, as you can see. It's got some curvature, it's got a front and a back tail. Whereas the, you can see this one here is very flat. It doesn't have much of a rounded tip. In the back it has a tail, but again, it's not, it's not as much of a tail as this one. You can see the differences here. You can also see that this one is very flat along here. Traditional uh, freestyle board for sort of more, more less uh, surface, uh, less concave to grip onto your foot when you're doing tricks. You can really feel the curve there. If you're just getting back into skateboarding, and if you're like me, one of these old guys who used to skate in the 80s, one of the things I recommend is something like this just to get started. It's called a whirly board. And it's just basically a balance board that sits on the ground. I've demonstrated it before, but... You just sort of go back and forth getting your balance. It's got a few balance points that you can sort of do different things on. It's a really good good way. I spent a lot of the winter on this, just kind of getting my uh, my uh, balance back together. So that's the boards. So uh, I just showed you the boards. I'm going to run through each one separately and kind of tell you what I like and don't like about them. When I first got back into skating uh, at 54 years old, um, earlier this year, um, of course, my initial thing was, oh, you know, I got to get one of the uh, original Powell decks, you know, like a Mike McGill with fishtail uh, or a Christian Hazoy or something like that. Uh, my mind was stuck in, you know, sort of 159 independent trucks, 169 independent trucks, big board, big feet, um, which was what we used in the uh, in the in the 80s. Um, so when I was looking through, I actually, I, I found out all these different skateboarding things that are going on. There's, you know, there's freestyling, there's skateboarding, there's surf skating, um, there's longboarding, there's dance boarding, there's all this new stuff that's come out. Um, and I was really attracted to the idea of a really big boot board, and I liked the idea of a cruiser. At first, I was just going to get back into it to start pushing around the neighborhood and stuff. So the first deck I got was this one here. This is the, um, this is the Land Yachts is the name of the company. You can see it there. And this is one of their biggest boards. It's called the Gordito. And it's losing me here. Hello, camera. Hi, there I am. Follow me back up. No, let's try that this way. I'm coming back in. There we go. So this is the Gordito. It is massive. It is solid. It's got these nice rubbery wheels that don't make much noise on the street, which is really good. It is a beautiful cruising board. And that's exactly what it is. It's a cruising board. Now, what I like about it, um, it's fun to move. It's fun to kind of cruise. If you've got a nice little incline, it's really good. What I don't particularly like about it um, is that it is very heavy. And for like long flat sessions where you are just kind of cruising on flat and you need to do a lot of pushing, um, I found it a little uncomfortable and I found it kind of wore down my knees faster than I wanted to for cruising. Um, but that was on flat. On a, on a surface um, that has an incline, it's a really great board. It carves really well and it's really nice. So that's the Land Yachts. Gordito, which is one of the big cruiser boards. It's one of the biggest cruiser boards out there. Um, I think it's 10 by 36. Um, so it's it's pretty, pretty damn cool. Um, would I use it as a daily board? No. Um, I have used it at the park a couple times. It's kind of fun, but again, the big board kind of gets in the way. So after this, um, because it was winter and because when I was younger, I had a little freestyle deck, I was very interested in freestyle and I reached out to MLM and got this Witter freestyle deck. As you can see, it's much smaller and um, my camera's doing all kinds of crazy things. It's much smaller. It's a really cool deck. It's got a little tiny um, truck system on it and it has these uh, wheels that are um, countersunk so that you don't, so that your, uh, your bolts don't come out so you can do rail stands and stuff like that. It's a really cool board. It's a lot of fun. It's got some concave and it has a kick tail and also a kick nose. And as you can see, it's got a great concave. This is great for doing footwork tricks. Um, you know, you can push it around the park and stuff. It's a bit of fun, um, but it's really good on kind of flat land for doing, you know, traditional freestyle type of stuff. 
That leads me next to this board here, uh, which is the MLM Freestyle board. Um, this is the Lloyd and Space, which I absolutely love. MLM is a Canadian company um, that does really cool uh, boards. Um, one of the only Canadian bo companies doing freestyle boards, and it's really cool. MLM, check them out. Again, you know, freestyle wheels, freestyle trucks, and this one here is a little different because you can see it has hardly any concave, and the nose is totally flat as opposed to the kicktail. So this is a traditional um, freestyle deck like that, and it's very cool from MLM. So that's freestyle and surf. And then I decided, what if I want to get a, like a street deck? So again, I went back to my, I got to get one of the Powell reissues. Um, and then I started thinking, okay, the Powell sizes and those shapes were around for 10 or 15 years in the beginning of skateboarding. And then in the 90s, the popsicle stick shape came around and it kind of took over and it's kind of the main board right now. And you even have people like Anderson, Ander uh, Andy Anderson who are skating freestyle on regular street decks. So I wanted a street deck to try it out. Um, and... You know, I went through all the companies. It's interesting because all these companies have different associations. You know, there, there's Bones, which is the Canadian company, uh, or sorry, Skull States, Skull States, which is a Canadian company, uh, Powell, which is the standard. And then there's all of these other decks, you know, Antihero, Welcome, um, I could name off forever, but you know what I mean. So I decided I'm going to be totally surface level on this. I'm going to, all the boards are pretty good. I mean, any pro board is a good board. So I said, I'm going to set out and find a graphic that I like. Nothing more. I don't care what, what company it is. I want to find a nice sort of street deck with a graphic that I like. That's just how shallow I am. And after looking around for a while, I found this board here, which I fell in love with. This is the anti-hero um, Rainy Bears deck. It's got the double, uh, the double skulled pigeon on the front. This is what they call a standard street deck uh, by Antihero. As you can see, I didn't do a good job on the gripping. Um, 159 Indy Trucks, which is standard. Some uh, Bones 100, uh, looks like 100A wheels. Um, the standard, and this is a standard current board. It's got a very symmetrical tail and nose. They're slightly different. The concave on it is beautiful. It's got a great weight to it. It's a solid piece of work. That is the Antihero. I have been using this a lot. Um, when I go down to the park, when the bowl is there and the, um, uh, the pool and all the little rides and stuff, the little jumps, uh, I tend to be working on this. So I'm loving the Antihero. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful, um, you know, sort of street deck. These, uh, these um, you know, sort of 20, what is this here? This is a 8.6, I think it is. So it's like a little bit bigger than a freestyle, but not much. Um, this is the freestyle here next to it. But you can see they have sort of a different wheelbase. Oh no, it's kind of similar. But the smaller, flatter board as opposed to the concave. Um, these are the ones that I like to skate. So I've been dabbling a little bit with freestyle, a little bit with street, and a little bit with pool. Um, the, the bottom line uh, um, with all of these things is that skateboarding has become a, a massive infusion of all the styles. And, uh, you know, the freestyle skaters who worked for years, like Rodney Mullen and stuff, at developing these really cool street chicks, tricks, um, you know, they've been adopted by the, um, uh, or the freestyle tricks, so they've been adopted by the street culture and the vert culture too. People are doing these tricks on every surface imaginable. So uh, thanks to all the freestylers who uh, kept it going when uh, freestyle was kind of, uh, you know, not so popular because you really <clears throat> opened up a whole new world for us. So if you're looking to get back into skateboarding, you're looking for a deck, um, you know, I, I really, you know, if you're a traditional skateboarder and you're looking, I, I really recommend these old school, um, sort of the larger of the popsicle stick uh, type decks like this one here, which is the anti-hero. Uh, and of course the Witter uh, is my lovely concave freestyle and my MLM uh, flat freestyle. So those are, those are what I'm using much, mostly. I hope this helps you a little bit. Um, you know, I'm not a professional in this in any way, shape, or form. I'm just somebody who's getting back into it, and I'm just sharing my information. So thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you in the park. Cheers.